Oh, what a lovely, lovely day. Absolutely glorious weather here as we welcome you to a football match of considerable significance. Great consequence in this part of the world. They've been talking about this one for a while and they have rolled up to it in fantastic numbers. You should have seen the roads outside the ground in the hour or two leading up to it. It has been bumper to bumper. The traffic has been extraordinary. But the level of expectation is also very, very high. And uh, these supporters who uh, were queuing around the block for their tickets as soon as we knew the date of the fixture, well, now they can't wait for it to begin. And begin it will any second now. It is a venue, this, which simply adds to the spectacle of the game it stages. One of the most impressive arenas in this part of the world. Although it's got the juices flowing, and now this. This is the perfect game for all parties, not least the neutrals who've just come to enjoy it. Well, under normal circumstances, this is a massive matchup, and I'm not totally in agreement with the view that friendlies tend to take the edge away. In my experience, if the opposition go at it full tilt, then you have to reciprocate. We like to see excitement and be entertained, but if it does go down the serious route, there'll still be lots to enjoy. So off we go then. Jim, which player is best equipped for this game? Well, Witzel is an interesting character. He won't back down from a challenge thanks to his, his combative nature. And he's happy to give it to the more capable attacking talent. Uh, he'll be looking to assert a physical authority on this game. So, yeah, he can be a real force. Yes, he'd be my pick too. It's going to be all about how they get the best out of him. Vertonghen. Hazard desperately wants to get on the end of this. Well, that's a foul, free kick's been given. Alderweireld. De Bruyne. It's a loose ball. Foot in to Bruin. Gets up to head it! Oh, that was no routine save. Hazard simply didn't do anything wrong. He was thwarted by brilliance. Witzel has a hit! Oh, he's missed it. Well, Peter, I would say it was worth a try. Well, he's made sure that that won't get through. 
more than happy to take the muscular approach. João Cancelo. And here's Cristiano Ronaldo. Cristiano Ronaldo! Oh, what a wonderful stop! Oh, that's a sparkling save. Absolutely sparkling. His reflexes were ultra sharp. And here's Lukaku. Lukaku really got caught in a trap there, and he just couldn't get out. That's the through ball. João Cancelo. Has a shot! In for the pieces! Albeit perhaps momentary. Cristiano Ronaldo. And helps available out wide. Wrong. Oh, no, that was a chance. What a chance. And he's, it's Lukaku! And he's there to make a great save. Lukaku is very sporting here to acknowledge the quality of the save. A lovely little footballing moment. De Bruyne goes short. Torgan Azar. Belgium desperately needs someone to hold up the ball here. De Bruyne plays it short. Forward it goes. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. Gets wrestled off the ball. Aldevera plays it forward. And it's Mernier. Cristiano Ronaldo. João Cancelo. He gets past his man. It has... He's tried one! De Bruyne can get it clear. William Carvalho. Aimed in towards the centre. Cut out in the nick of time. Lukaku. Good challenge, he just stood firm. Belgium disappointing in the end there. In that urgency. Now it's just the goalkeeper. Goes for goal! It's anyone's ball. Now to play for a goal kick. Meunier with the crossfield ball. Azar. Two minutes to be added on. Meunier. De Bruyne is onto it and can take it. Powering header! 
There is the half-time whistle. So the other team has broken through, but certainly not for the want of trying. It's been an interesting game up to now, but still goals. So there was the first half. Well, both sides have been full of, of effort, industry, endeavour, and the stats are, are, are screaming good things at us. So it's been a, a very good watch for the neutrals so far. Um, and I'm really looking forward to what's, what's to come in the second half. This could get unpredictable. Interesting half, just missing goals. So don't be surprised if the second half brings a change to the scoreline at the break. 0 0. So up to meet it! Oh, he couldn't get the direction he needed. Oh, what a great leap. He had no right to get to that. And here's Lukaku. Torgan Azar. Referee has seen that as a dive. Well, that's just very cynical. For him to think he could get away with it is, uh, is ugly on his part. Denier. Tielemans. Azar. Torgan Azar. Witzel. De Bruyne. And it's Witzel. Bruno Fernandes sticks in a foot to win it back. Witzel unable to make it happen for all his good intentions. Ball is over the line. In towards the middle. Guerrero knocks it away. De Bruyne gets it greatly! He scored! It is a good finish. The odds were against him. Little matter. Oh, this fellow's as slippery as a needle the way he freed himself to score. I mean, for that defence, it was a case of how oh, you've got him, how oh, you don't. Brilliant. So we have our breakthrough. The perfect display and the old saying comes to mind when the going gets tough, etc. Xiao Cancelo. Portugal are definitely going about this the right way. And Jim, there's not too much subtlety or sophistication about this. It really is a question of needs must. Well, there's no two ways about it. This is what they have to do. Torgan Azar. Now it's Lukaku. Oh, he's found him in space! Yeah, maybe they've become a little desperate in falling into the trap of predictability here. Torgan Azar. Bernardo Silva tries to get it forward quickly. Torkan Azar, and it's Azar. Loses his balance and loses the ball. Well, it seems obvious that the plan is to, to try and get their passing game going again, but not with that lack of quality. Tielemans drives it forward. Can't get the better of his opposite number. Dashing forward at pace. Right through the middle. Good challenge. Excellent challenge. Peter, they have to fight the onset of desperation and keep enough cool heads to still deliver.
Finds himself eased off the ball. Portugal are actually displaying tremendous fighting spirit. There's a real belief that they could still have a say. It's broken loose. Belgium are clearly looking to kill this game off. It's keeping the ball away from the other end, too. Mernier. Just brushed off the ball there. Alderweireld. And it's been taken straight back. De Bruyne, who does have an assist to his name. Hoists it forward. Cristiano Ronaldo going for goal. Oh, the ball's come loose. Look, with time running out, they have to get the ball in the penalty box, and if it means a long punt, then so... Yeah, he's pulled him up for that challenge. And the referee has shown him a yellow card. Alderweireld. Denier. Tielemans. De Bruyne. Mertens. That's great strength on the ball. Whistle's gone, and they've got themselves a free kick. We all love a trier, Peter, but the wiser choice would have been ball into box. Oh, that's a waste. Going through. So who's he picking out? Now the cross. Pepe can hoist it clear. Chance! He scores! And there's the goal they've been looking for. The keeper deserves some sympathy there. He may not have seen that until too late. And when the manager called on him, he was only too happy to repay that fate. That's how you make an impact as a sub. You know, when most are tiring, you can impose a freshness and energy to best effect. What an introduction. <laughs> Two up. And that is that. Well, much worthy industry, but that alone simply not enough. They are beaten by the better side. Your final thoughts, Jim? Portugal could still be playing, Peter, and probably still be trying to score. It might just be causing some edginess for the camp. Before we go, many thanks to Jim Beglin for his inputs, and from us both, good afternoon.